It's going to be cliche as hell. It's going to be the time right. skip. And then Yoshida being Yoshida is going to live in the exact same apartment. And, <laughs> you know, Sayu is going to show up, knock on the door. There's going to be this heartfelt moment of like, oh, Tadaima or like, Okairi. And then it's going to be like, no. Hey, you know, this dude, whole thing of like, this is your real home. You're now home. And she's like, hey, yeah, I'm home. To be, to be fair, it is <laughs> Cut credits. It is expensive to move apartments in Japan. So I don't blame him for staying in the same apartment. It's an anime. Yeah. Fuck that shit. That that rule doesn't apply here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Izaka Podcast, Week Twelve of the Spring Twenty Twenty One Season. On this show, we're discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Justin. Hey, guys. All right, so uh, quick, uh, I guess what I mentioned real quick before we dive to the uh, main part of the show. Uh, so this is the last week that we're going to do the weekly discussions. Uh, next week, also, we're taking it off because it's July 4th here in the States. So... So just give heads Ooh, up, everyone. After America, yeah, after, <laughs> yep. After July fourth, uh, the week after that, we're gonna we'll do a summer preview episode. But um, but then yeah, we're gonna switch to our new format where we just spent uh, the whole episode talking about one show in particular instead of doing weekly discussions. Uh, if you want to be part, of, if you still want to talk about like uh, weekly episodes, we will still have them in our Discord. So we'll, uh, it's in the description. Come join us if you. Want to hear our? We'll still give our thoughts there, and we'll we'll try to be more active now that it's like the only place where you can hear our thoughts on episodes that just air. So, so let's get into that. So that's that's the format. That's what's happening, and yeah, we're taking a break next week. Uh, we have some anime news. Want to get through real quick too? Do uh, but uh, eighty six is having second season. I guess because we had a special this week. Was a <laughs> small recap. Worth very very special. Worth yeah, yes. <laughs> so at that teaser at the end where they announced season two is coming in October. So. Look forward to that, and we'll we'll definitely have a 86 episode where we'll give our thoughts on the season. Um, and Stren here saw something about Anohana, but I just want <laughs> I just want to mention real quick the thing that the the, the director said is because he made there's this event that that he that they sold tickets for, and he was surprised at how much it sold. So he made he made this off this teasing comment saying, "Oh, a lot of people like showed up to this event more than I expected. Maybe we should go on and make the sequel." So. I don't it's really like count how this that. guy. I don't it's like how this that. guy didn't know it was already like it well, was already no, um, popular. That's just, him, that's just him like teasing or like or being like, playful. Like I don't take that as like as serious news. But I the <laughs> the one thing though that I, I I kept that I think I mentioned before uh, to you guys is uh I think the opening or ending song I can't remember which I think it was the ending where they talk about how like uh where they're gonna see, like see you again like ten years from now in August and which that would actually be this August yeah, like this, this year. August. So oh. if like something happens like that, it's gonna be like I would be like, oh damn, they actually so, they actually get it. So I'm gonna wait till August to see if they actually announce anything. Otherwise, Same. apparently Same. there's this there's this other event, this after ten year after box event announced for December 29th. I guess that's another possibility for something. So it's either August or December. We'll see what happens then. And then um, apparently, oh yeah, I saw this. The Vidin Saga apparently has an important announcement coming out July 26th. Second season, or probably second Maybe? season. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what I happens. think it's pretty much guaranteed. I don't know what else they would talk about. We'll see, we'll see if what we'll I know see. from the manga. Yeah, we'll see if like if Wit Studios is still on board of two. Mm, that's a good we'll point. Or, or maybe maybe I'll, they pass it off to someone else. Maybe I'll jump into the second season if it's uh, worth it. And um, I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna end with like uh, we just had like the the Mappa 10 year anniversary announcement, which apparently had like 100k people viewing it at the time. Oh damn! That's crazy. <laughs> yep. Crazy. Yep, we had a bunch of new trailers. We got the new trailer for Chainsaw Man. I think most people have seen by now. Dude, it looks so good. Beautiful. <laughs> Holy shit! We got a trailer for this other show. I forgot. Like, like talked. Ope. That, no, that, that one looked really good too. That one's a uh, collab with Madhouse, but there's that other the other one that that's just in. That, I oh, that. the the movie. Um, oh, it was a movie. Okay, the Alice. Yeah, Mario Kart Ten. Yeah, Teresa movie. Yeah, with, with, oh, yeah. Mario, Alice told Therese. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I know nothing about that. Oh, it's gonna be a feels. It's oh God, the person who's done stuff on David's tell me silent voice. Uh, I oh, watched. God. He had done uh, Machia. 
Yeah. She, she, um, also, so that's the original one she directed, but she also directed a silent voice. So get your, get your tissues ready. Haven't they given enough feels already? <laughs> nope. Move out. Well, yeah, so. falls, uh, falls in early 2022 is looking to be quite yep. stacked. Yep. That's all the news that we had for today. So let's move on. Oh, I should mention too, yeah, because we still have, these may have PA Hero and Shadow's House and on the Spider Show. So what we're going to do for that, we're going to, uh, we're just going to separate them and do the new format so that we'll have a show dedicated to each, episode dedicated to each show, and we'll give our thoughts on the last episode along with everything else. So let's move on to our main shows. First, talk about uh, Megalobox. That's kind of a, uh, the ending, I, <laughs> I was expecting more to happen, I guess. Oh my god, they pulled, uh, a, or, I like they pulled a season the one piece. again. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Joe survived. I'm actually, I'm okay with it. The best ending possible, though, I think we were thinking of basically happened. Where, For Joe, besides, I guess. Joe, besides Joe, didn't, Joe didn't really yeah. win, but. And then we got the, the very lackluster, you know, kind of conclusion with uh, Roscoe. The guy <sighs> we, we all hated fuck. this season, just going to jail. Tip- typical, you know, big business type repercussions. Nothing, uh, nothing too major. serious. But, yeah. uh, no, I mean, I. I don't know. Like, I definitely think I would have liked to see more of the fight for sure. Because yes, this season, kind of oddly enough, there there weren't that many fights. You know, when when you really no. think about it, that really yeah. got into like the meat and potatoes of things. Whereas like season one, that was kind of its bread and butter. That was all. Like, yeah. you know, every single fight of Joe just raising the ranks of the the Megalo Mania tournament and yeah. stuff. So well, when you bring it up, Justin, it's like that's all I was expecting this last fight to be more epic to make up for the lack of fights we had this season. Exactly. So. They had uh, a lot of cutscenes in between the fight, based of like everything that was basically yeah, right. trying to fit everything in possible. Hey, man, it's, it's like, it's, hey, remember these guys? Remember these guys? And those it's guys? It's the sports <laughs> movie yeah. flashbacks that you love, Shren. Ah, yes, yes, I love, I love those yeah. so uh, much. I mean, like like you said, Shren, it, it definitely worked out where everybody had, you know, their their kind of happy ending where they can kind of move on from from the things that they've been, you know, either held up upon or, or been struggling with, which is great to see, but um. I don't know. Again, maybe it's just the masochist in me. Like, I, I would have liked to see someone at least suffer a little bit more. <laughs> well, because like, um, it doesn't feel like it doesn't thought... feel like we had like we had so much tension going on in this last yeah. fight. And it just, it just like... feels like everything worked out conveniently. It, like, it felt, especially yeah. the, the Mac time as well, where you know they were yeah. talking about Mac time and having to monitor his brainwaves, and it's like, oh, he's in Mac time, but now he's fine. This yeah, was like, that was a uh, that was like a cop out. So that, it just felt like it, it, again. It's like that ending in the first season where it just felt so anticlimactic. Like, so like both these seasons, just like it felt like it had such a good run, and then just like the ending though, just couldn't like, it just couldn't have a, a satisfying ending. Yeah, I also uh, like I get what they were trying to do with the, the moment, like you were saying, uh, Sren, where where Sakio has that moment where you know he sees Pop's hand kind of reach into the ring and then he kind of has that moment of like oh you know i'm giving you the decision whether or not to throw in the towel it's kind of almost like i don't think pops would have wanted him to throw in the towel like i think at the end of the day like even sakio realized like they're there to you know fulfill kind of their their fighting tendencies and that that kind of retribution that comes with you know everything that's been building up to this fight between joe and mac and the fact that you know sakio just kind of cuts it short like yeah obviously you know we could view it as he does that to make sure that Joe just doesn't further damage himself permanently forever. But I don't know. It definitely is a big blue balls at the end of the day. I'm just like, <laughs> we've been waiting for this for th- like three episodes now. And then, you know, everything gets cut short just for the sake of keeping everybody happy at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 I definitely thought that uh, something more would have happened to Mac because the the whole part where he just kind of overrode the chip in a sense, like for the first time where, everything just kind of miraculously worked just it made no sense mm-hmm. uh because <clears throat> even before like he would like uh the chip even when he was not fighting he was having like ptsd moments where i mean like where he'd hear like some sort of noise and he would just snap um so it would i would, I would assume it's because of the chip and oh we also did find out that that uh was it ba- that we actually did find out that the chip was just doing like create just on like tons of damage to his brain mm-hmm. and uh oh, you, you know that so, yeah, that well, I, I think they, they only showed his brain scans, but I don't know if they ever like actually mentioned like what exactly was happening to his brain. Uh, but I mean, I think we just all assumed. But that this time, I think I think this was the first time I noticed where they actually came out and said it. 
but I could be. Yeah, it's definitely too. definitely more more direct, especially with showing you know like the the cat scans of uh, yeah. Max uh, brain and everything during those times. Yeah. Um, the one other thing I really didn't like was um, the one assistant girl that was in this season. You know, who was the assistant to the the dick, the girl who's kind of yep. just yeah. working <laughs> with him to you know get get her name out there and everything, and having the whole interaction with um the one uh, chick's brother, how he, he was like her instructor during school. And then at the very end, you know, now she's the instructor. Mm-hmm. It's like so that. very clear. It, it's don't so like cliche. <laughs> like, again, you don't, you don't like how everything worked out. at the end. Exactly. Yeah. I, like, again, maybe it's just me being, you know, pessimistic masochist, whatever you want to call it at the end of the day. Because but I think it feels Justin, very sloppy. Like, it's just like, oh, OK. Yeah. Like, I feel that way with the uh, with the president with uh, Yukiko because like again um yeah her too because uh, it felt like she got off easy like because again we live in their their world is this dystopian future where like a lot there's a lot of like 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 bad things happening a lot of like divide between people and it just seems like you know because she's part of this this company that 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 still like perpetuates that that situation. And it sounds like she got off easy, and then yeah, like you're saying, like it makes it sound like it's such a happy ending, but it's like there's still like, like there's still a lot of like the issues of like with like with like the immigrants and of like with people not being citizens who still can't go into the mega box that the first season mentioned. So it's like we didn't address, yeah. we didn't really address any of that issues. We just made it seem like now now it's happy ending, even though like even though, like Joe and like, the kids are still like. Not considered like full citizens in this world. So. <laughs> yeah, and we had Roscoe ba- getting off easy, which I think ba- Justin said like this was. He, I think you were the one that said that this is what was most likely going to happen, and it was like exactly what happened. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. You, again, I'm glad that they were brought up the point with Yukiko and everything. The whole conference at the very end, where she's just like, "Hey, yeah, we did some bad shit, <laughs> but hey, we're gonna open up the software as like an open source development tool to everybody." And everybody's like, "Yeah, like well, that's good." And, then, and she we joins them you. too as like the van rider and help me out the orphanage. It's like, okay, yeah, like, like, like as if you can pretend you can be part of that world. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely very forced. In yeah. terms of, you know, the, the viewpoint as, as a viewer of what we've been built into. Um, I don't know. It feels like just all the struggles we've seen this season with how it ended, just it, it belittles like a lot of the stuff in my mind. Like, yeah, this reminds me again of season one. It just felt like it just, like all of the stuff that Joe went through just like ends up just like suddenly winning and then him and Yuri getting along. So. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I guess I'll... it's. I go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah. You go um, ahead first. I was actually gonna say like the first season felt like there was it was more of an impact just because I mean at least you know, Yuri ended up paralyzed uh, from the waist down, but it's uh, but it, but besides that though, and actually the no the main girl did not go to jail or anything did she? No. Not that we knew. Of. Just, yeah. Like yeah, David said at the end, it. she's now like you know taking in orphans and stuff and <laughs> yeah doing sorry, that. I, uh, like go ahead, Justin. Uh, Sorry, that was, that was the only. Oh thing no, I was, I was just gonna say, kind of to to David's point, you know, it is now looking back at it, very similar to to season one in terms of you know how it build up towards the finale, and then at the end, you know, not much really loss on on anybody's end. Um, so I guess my question would have been like, you know, with the fact of season two now in the books, do you still feel like season two was like a a necessary thing? Looking at kind of how everything's come now know. to a close. I don't feel it. I feel like it's it's a nice bonus rather than necess- necessity. Like yeah. it was nice. Yeah, I still like. I think season one is still like it's still such a nice self-contained story because it's focused so much on the sport. So I felt like season two was a nice bonus, like a nice like lore um, for people who, like enjoyed season one, but like we didn't really need it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, but, for me, I actually like season two more than the, the first season. By quite a bit, because uh, I mean, it was nice to know the sport and everything, but it's like at the same time, uh, just kind of knowing a little bit more about the characters. And I guess mm-hmm. like just like what like, it's hard for me to say that was, because I feel like season yeah. two built so much upon Joe's character that you need to know about one. So it was nice. <laughs> but overall, yeah. I'll say I'll say overall for this season, I still really enjoyed it. Like it's still probably like my same. top shows this season. So I think I think it's just the message of like the season in general. In the fucking hummingbird story, like I think like, all that <laughs> is, kids, it, I think it's, it's, they it's definitely still, drove it hard. <laughs> I think it still outweighs like the lackluster ending we had. I think it just still outweighs that. So, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's definitely fair. And 
Um, I think, like you said, David, like it obviously made a lot of sense where they saw great success with season one. So giving extra to the fans at the end of the day, I don't think any, you know, fan I'm of season one is going to have very, much gripes very, with that. But I'm still very yeah. appreciated because I don't think I don't think Megalox Same. did well in Japan. So it's obviously for the overseas. Fan, yeah. So. And I also I think, too, like like we were saying, I think either last week or the week before, like this space of, of genre with like boxing animes in general, you know, there hasn't really been yeah. much on that front well, in a while. Just, so just, yeah. I think. Like the boxing, the dystopian future, and just the animation, like it's it's yeah. so I still give it huge props for it, the originality. So I always definitely. Yeah, yeah, I I give, I give the show. I mean, I gave it a nine, <laughs> just because it's uh. I mean, well, like I said before, I like this second season more than I did the first. Uh, I was not expecting much from the second season. It just kind of, I guess, just like expectations, other stuff just kind of blew it out of the water. Mm-hmm. Um, because I was assuming this is going to be, this was going to be one of those almost hate watch shows. Did not really? end up being that at all. Well, not, oh, not really hate watch, but uh, it would have been. It was one of those where I'm like, eh, I'm just going to watch it. Just I, like, was, you know, I was not I watched at all. Season. Like I, just, I, just, it just flew by me, and like I definitely want to watch it. If like Stratton did mention it earlier and see that he was going to watch it weekly. Mm. So, oh yeah. yeah, I think I would have always watched it at the end of the day, just because I thought season one was you know pretty good and everything. But um, it wasn't like I was holding any very like extremely high you know expectations for it and everything. I like, think for me, it's I like, think like you know we all said the ending of season yeah, one, cool. like yeah, it got me down. So I was like, it 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 it, it lowered my kind of my expectations a little bit. But mm. I think no. we all had like we all had like we already mentioned before where you know, I don't know if any of us really thought a season two was necessary. But, yeah, but I'm glad they know, did it. Yep. Overall, I think, I think uh, this is still my favorite show of the season, despite the ending. I think, I mean, I guess maybe Sh- Shadow House does better now, but I think this is my still my favorite season, a favorite yeah. show of the season. This is for me too. How about you, just up there? Yeah, no, no, I totally agree. And kind of to your rating point, too, certain. I think if I had to give the show a rating, it'd probably be towards like the higher eights maybe mid eights. Cause I think season one, even for me was kind of around that range as well. It's definitely, you know, very much above average for kind of the entire bracket. Pa- mm-hmm. uh, losing my, uh, my words here, the got entire you, package you. that it brings together um, of just kind of everything with, you know, the, the style, the story, the characters, the, uh, the soundtrack, God, the sound. Oh is, God. Yes. It's beautiful in both <laughs> seasons. I still so. love the callbacks to season yeah. one. Man. Yeah. And then that's the thing, too, right? It, once you have a series like that, that can have those kind of callbacks and kind of hype build moments with those callbacks, like, you know, you're you're in for your show. That's that's pretty solid. So, yeah, it definitely was a good experience. And, you know, hopefully we just continue to get quality of that kind of stuff, no matter what the, the story or genre kind of is. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I watched it. Uh, I was basically prepped and ready to give the show a 10 if it didn't uh if they didn't really mess up the ending that bad but honestly they really didn't mess up the ending it's just like it could have been i think it could have been better yeah yeah Yeah. cool that's all i got though so that'll be it for mega box 2 and that's the season finale for that so we'll probably uh end up doing a episode discussion about that later on so but let's move on to our next show talk about the last episode of moriari the patriot Oh, man. Speaking of shows that just kind of ended, it was just like, OK. Um, that, Guys, the, the, the reviews on my anime list are pretty high. Like, they love it. The only <laughs> ones that seem to feel this way. I went I went and read through, like, you know how they got like the forum discussions that's why, that's on why there? It's a trash mm-hmm. website. Yeah, I know. Well, and I should have gone uh, on Reddit, but I haven't really been on Reddit much. So I was just reading through the. Um, uh, through the through the forum thing for the episode this week, and people just had good things to say. They were like, everything built up to this moment. It was really emotional. I really loved it, and it was just mm. a c- opinion like that after opinion like that. Everybody seemed to really like it, and I, for one, laughed very very hard. <laughs> like the, you guys, like I don't know the part where like they were both standing on the edge of that of that like yep. piece of infrastructure, yep. <laughs> and then. And then, like, Moriarty's like, no, I just have to die. He didn't really seem to have any sentiments. Like, they, okay, never mind. My first problem, they kept on talking about, like, all of the crimes and all the blood on their hands and all this other crap. They've only been killing bad people. And now I will admit that in this latest 
episode, more people probably got a lot more injured or hurt or, hurt or something like that. But mm -hmm. in general, they've pretty much been going after like bad people and trying to fix society. So I don't really buy this whole blood on your hands kind of thing. Have to answer for my crimes kind of crap, but whatever. <laughs> and then like for some really for some reason, like Moriarty thought that he had to die at the end, even though he definitely did not have to die at the end. He didn't really even seem that he upset because he didn't really Lelouch. have that much. Yeah, he, he wants, wants to, his Lelouch moment. Wants and everybody wants to, to take away pieces of him. Cookie doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> oh, but it does. It's, I mean, no. it's the idea of like becoming the was it the sacrificial hero? It's such You're like just a, a martyr, you know. It's because like, if, like, if, if you if you hate your life or if, if you're feeling depressed or suicidal, but like you, you get to go out as a hero, that's pretty like enticing for a lot of people in that situation. I'm sure. Fine. I'm sure if you Fine. go to the Wikipedia for this show, it'll say like, yeah, it'll be like early on, like before the years of Code Code Geass, and then you'll find out it was you know hidden all along. Okay, fine. Yeah, right. Sherlock okay. and Moriarty is the true OG source. Let's <laughs> they say were the one with the Irish. <laughs> yeah. I accept that. I accept that. But then there was all the conversations during the episode too of like, I've always, I've actually always considered you my dearest friend. You've been my uh, dearest friend see, too. <laughs> I don't want to be like overly like. God, I guess well, it's sexist at the end of the day, but I feel like mm -hmm. they're drawing. Very, I'd be interested to see what the like demographic breakdown is for this show, because I personally feel like it is driving towards like a lot of like boys love type female. Like, yeah, this last episode between yeah. Sherlock Moriarty and just <laughs> well, you know the whole band of guys. Sherlock like jumped <laughs> off of the metal stretcher thing to fall. Yeah, I, I equally laughed at that moment. I was just like, I mean, oh, I... no, like how are we? Yeah, but like <laughs> stuff like that. It's like. I think I should say that as an anime thing where it's always about like the power of friendship. It's like, did you see that happen? <laughs> like people made it, it's like with like Naruto where people talk about like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I should have gone say, that far. Like how like they're trying, like was it like they, they're doing this because like they're really good friends. It's like it's that sort of thing that I get from this. It's like I almost just right, feel they, like Sherlock and Moriarty already want to bang at the end of the day, like at the <laughs> yeah, very end like, when they're, they're you know, together. yeah, and he's like, oh, catch me if you can, Sherlock, and I'm just like, all right, like you know, where's the where's the fan Everyone, fix at? Like, I know it's out there. Like Everyone, nobody can blame the Fujoshis if they yeah. get out of this. Everyone like, memes. they were baited so hard. They they, they meme that right. so hard in anime, but like I don't know. That it's, is it's a lot of times. It's like it's they just really push hard the power. They really pushed hard. Like people are really good friends. Yeah, so. I, I admittedly, out of you know everybody's ending that they were kind of showing at the end of the day, like okay, you know I could accept um, uh, oh Irene Adler becoming James mm -hmm. Bond and MI6, and then you know oh, MI6 uh, oh becoming the leader of MI6. MI6, that's just, fine. Cause that's just, total like England, no, you know. No, like, that that threw more on the conspiracy theories part. Like I know, oh, right? You have to <laughs> throw in MI6 in this. <laughs> Let him let him have it, right? I um, the, that the, part too. I mean, I, right, the one part that I, I felt say, bad for was for uh for Albert. Uh, I feel like Albert really took the grunt of it, or you know, he's basically just what in jail for the rest of his life, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it. I forgot about him. It's like everybody else kind of gets off. They're just like, okay, you uh, know, you're you're all cool. <laughs> I also go back to Taylor's point where she kept yeah. calling it fan fiction. That's totally what MI six thing and like and Watson writing the Sherlock Holmes novels. Hey man, that's just the only way that they can now create a season three. Now they'll just focus on you know Lewis and uh, Irene and MI6 and James Bond and everything. They'll love to have all those conspiracies it and stories curious, they can like write about how, now. How the manga handle this? Like, like this is what is this? Yeah, an anime um, original. Question. Or, I read, like... I, this is an anime original ending. Um, okay. Okay. There are elements of it that are in the manga. It sounds like. Um, but they basically just kind of moved things around and tied things up a little bit better to make this a more cohesive ending for anime viewers. Okay. Uh, I was thinking, is, like, if the manga's ongoing, is the manga like... still ongoing? Yeah. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then has Sherlock not technically caught Moriarty then in the, the manga? I, I, I can't I think one of the details. They would, like, if they want to keep the yeah, manga Yeah, so going. what, they probably just extend it, like, further, like, mm -hmm. case-wise of, like, different yeah. people and stuff? That was my Which, understanding. I mean, it's a good, you know, success. I mean, obviously, look at Ko's, shows like uh, Detective Conan, you know, <laughs> but if you, just throwing but if you, the if you do mix of formula. Original, <laughs> if you do this anime original ending, though, you can't really have a seat like a next season. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what I was thinking. Sure. I think it's done. That oh. makes a lot more sense. Now, now, <laughs> now it's like now this, this is like the one show you can say, just read the manga, because I really can't see another season coming out of this ending. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't it, think so either. Yeah, they they had their their good success with the first season or core or whatever, and then they're just like, all right, 
you know, we'll we'll milk it for another one here. And then exactly to your point, it is probably that discussion when they were getting ready for the second season to be like, okay, how long are we just going to end it here? And, you know, Mm -hmm. call it quits or how long do we want to stretch it? And obviously they decided like, hey, let's just make an original ending. We make our money at the end of the day. And then now uh, production IG can, you know, take their their efforts and quality to other things. Well, I, for one, am happy with this ending. I will hop off into the fan fiction world and see what uh, the people are doing over there, and I will enjoy that. Yeah. I was okay with it. <laughs> no, I'm, Even I'm though I laughed a lot. <laughs> like I said, I'm in- intrigued, as you said, Taylor, like how much people really enjoyed the show from, mm-hmm. you know, the My Analyst rankings. And honestly, I hadn't really paid too much attention to, to Reddit's um, mm-hmm. kind of involvement with it. I think it had always kind of been, like, pretty involved. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean... Yeah. So, people I mean, definitely like out, the show. Yeah, people should check it out. Like, if you have any interest, check it out. Because, I mean, lots of people seem to like it. We were kind of hard on it several times throughout the season. But maybe we're just jaded. Who knows? No. <laughs> I don't know. I think, it, I, I think I would point people to the manga. I feel like the manga would mm-hmm. fix, like, the issues that the second season had. Yeah, I could see that being the case. No. We'll see. That's well, it, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. Another another show in the books. So. I mean, uh, I'll just say like I really enjoyed first season and like second season just like just just lost me. So mm-hmm. I'll just uh, maybe the manga will change my mind, but I'll just say overall it's just I was, it was just an average show. Like if you if you compare yeah. the two seasons, it was so. it was fun, you know, and it fits the vein of kind of taking characters from from history and stuff and kind of having the fun with it so uh, uh, and if you don't watch or read it then download the music (laughs) do yourself a favor (laughs) yeah soundtrack was always and i say this as someone who has known nothing about sherlock at all but like i i thought it was pretty interesting take on like on doing like moriarty's perspective than sherlock so Mm -hmm. definitely so i think that's gonna be it for moriarty to get and that's it for this show on to our next show Talk about Nagatoro san. Also, this also ended this week. It wasn't bad. Um, I think uh, shows, uh, I think it did the, the job a lot better than other shows in the same genre. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually felt I actually like majority of the characters, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we don't we don't like I, the dog girl. <laughs> I, yeah, she's kind of annoying. But <laughs> was this the first episode that we saw the uh, the um, the art president's work? No, I this is so. not. No, uh, not. the the sec the second piece, yes, but the first yeah. piece, no. Oh no, 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 no! I meant the second piece. The their uh, mm-hmm. her her main uh, her main one that got her kicked out. <laughs> this, is- this show has no right to be as good as it is. I mean, when you think about the water, oh, the water is good. But then they bring out, like, the, the portraits of, of, of people in the show. And it is, like, next level. Like, I don't know. Maybe this is where they throw all their budget, right? Because some of the animations, like, some of the character design is very basic or very lackluster. But, man, like, the artwork in this show is, like, it's it's top tier. It's 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 amazing. Yeah, I thought yeah. animation was solid this entire season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I I just mm. <laughs> mm. like the president and Nagatoro, both mm, both top tier. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm liking the president. I'm liking Nagatoro. <laughs> Hard pass on the president. <laughs> she has oh, yeah. that uh, she has that stereotypical president vibe, right? She's kind of an airhead. She has like assets, and then uh. Okay. She, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, maybe certain members, but there was a show called uh, "Would You Still Love Me If I Had Like a Secret or Something," or if I was a pervert. Uh, she, she reminds me of the, uh, like the president of the club in that anime show, where she like had, you know, like a large chest and she was very beautiful, but, uh, she, she was kind of like a, like a mascus or something. She liked to be treated like as, as a dog. And it, it kind of reminded me of her in a sense. What? What's the Japanese title of the show? Would you still love me if I was a pervert? No, the, J- the Japanese one. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, I I have no idea. Okay. But it's basically like four cute girls, but then they all have like a secret side to them that makes the MC not fall in love with them in a sense. Oh, um, I remember what you're talking. Okay, I, I remember what you're talking about. Right. Uh, yeah, we're we're yeah. I don't really say think that the. 
the art uh, president was an airhead. She like in her mind, it was actually like artistic. And I don't think she really saw like the lewdness of it at all. I think she, she thought was just she was. Just... She thought she was deep. Yeah, I thought she was. I mean, she is pretty deep. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was just basically she thought it was just straight up nothing but art, and I don't think she's really took it in any way or thought of it as like we did when we saw it. Because you know, I mean, I I think we would have all been. I like how they also mentioned like the two separate groups too, where mm-hmm. all the people who are basically, oh yeah, there's a bunch of creeps there, but there were there there were also the people there for the art mm-hmm. of it, and uh, which kind of gave it like some of the some of the respect. And um, if this if the let's say if this show was still to go on, do you think that she would have actually been like one of the kind of main characters in the show? Do you think we would be seeing her more? Or do you think it was basically just like she was here for the arc and that was it? Uh, I'd say she'd still be a part of the supporting cast. Like the cast is already so small, I can't imagine it getting smaller. I would imagine they would slowly add more and more. But I mean, after a while, you would kind of run out of things to uh, like write about, right? Because it's it's very cliched story. It's really not much going on. So <laughs> well, you say that, but the manga is still going. <laughs> yeah, but once the school year ends, right, and they all graduate, I guess you can do it up to the point where they graduate. But I mean, it's. It's it's kind of like been there, done that. It's it's nothing mm. unique per se. So you're 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 basically just there for the characters, you know, not yeah. really there for the the plots. Or I guess right. you are there for the plot. I mean, yeah, not there for these the last story. few episodes. I, I think like the last four episodes were the best that I mean that that the show had. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, even though like I I mentioned this before, where if, like from the episode one, I, I felt like the show was getting better and better, and mm-hmm. then I think it hit. I think if we had episode eight, and then it started like for me, it, it kind of dropped down a couple episodes. But mm-hmm. then it picked up like this last arc. I thought like um, they're all like really solid. Um, I also like to see every time I like to see like the main uh, the main couple's progression, even if it's just kind of like a like a where you, like you know even at that at that end where they basically where you know he said like I really want to draw but, like those like moments mm-hmm. where it just feels like they're kind of, their uh, uh, relationships uh, uh, improving. It's nice to see because a lot of those they're basically there. The, yeah. basically yeah, yeah basically yeah. which a lot of shows don't do that where they they always like even if they like fucking rent a girlfriend where it's just like they say that word and the guy basically just like just you know bolts out immediately it's just like man <laughs> fuck you get the hell out of here and it just it's basically just angry but this one like they both already heard it they both like already know but they're you know still just in the same boat situation which i feel like it's kind of like like they're almost their comfort zone where they kind of have like a mutual understanding like this is where they want to be mm-hmm. and they're okay with it mm-hmm. for now but I'm, I'm sure you know, like the you know, the show or the the series later on will improve. Yeah. But uh, this is actually know. like one of my least favorite arcs of the this whole Whoa. like art contest Whoa. thing. Yeah. Oh. It's like my least favorite arc for the show and for the manga. I really didn't like this arc all that much. I thought it was just kind of like dumb. <laughs> but this was the only arc they had. Yeah, I was gonna I say. <laughs> well, there was really no other arc. It was, it was basically fair. slice of life until this arc came about. It's like, oh, oh that's I, fine. I, that's- I, I, I guess, I guess we have a plot now. <laughs> I guess I liked the slice of life stuff a little bit more. But yeah. So, I mean, if you guys like this, then I mean, I would say it definitely it just like keeps getting better. So definitely check out the manga. Ku, I, I, I think you're going to anyways. Um, right? No? You know, if I, if I have time. <laughs> okay. If I have time. Yeah, this is probably one of the most wholesome, like, high school romance animes that I've seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so well, it, it was very surprising. And like I said, the artwork just... Makes it like a tier above the other ones too. Like if, yeah. if anything, this might have been my my. This would be my top one so far. So yeah, I mean, kudos to the show. I loved it, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I, I would like to say to like any girls are, that are out there or anybody that is like worried that it might be like too etchy or something like that. It's actually done really well. Like whatever etchiness there is, actually didn't feel forced. It felt very much like high school teasing. You know what I mean? Like how people actually act. Um, yeah, like there was really nothing in it that I didn't think was like unnecessary or anything. Mm. So um, it was it was definitely just a sweet high school romance. So yeah. hopefully that won't deter anybody too badly. Yeah, I really have anything else. But you know, if this if the show has a second season, I'll watch it. Yeah, same for sure. I I imagine it it will if if it if there is enough materials to uh, to oh, finish. Plenty. It. I'm sure they have plenty. Right. right. So. Not, not a very manga, so they keep pumping mm-hmm. out the chapters. Mm-hmm. I felt like they had dropped quite a bit of budget though on this show. Like this, this show had no business looking as good as it did. That's according, what I'm saying. Quoting David from earlier in the season. Well, yeah, <laughs> so. like dude, like the the first at first episode, like the all like the background art. 
dude, not even just the first episode, but just so many of the episodes. Like the background arc looks so good. And plus the character, like, just characters, the situations, it's all that was just nice. Mm-hmm. So just too, I wish, I wish more anime could be like this. Yeah, for sure. But alas, we get garbage. <laughs> so. Uh, it's alright. It makes you appreciate the good ones, you know. So it's mm-hmm. it's fine. Yeah, but then it makes you feel very depressed when you get a uh, where you're like really hyped up for a show. Then it's like, oh yes, it's like, oh, who's doing the animation? Yeah, then what you get Man staff. season two was forever a ghost and let it go. Yeah. Not even that. Not even that. They ruined uh, so many. Let like... that one go. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of many. Yeah. All right. But anyway. Yeah, we're gonna end there for Nagatoro San. So overall, I guess we're all just rec- uh, give a recommendation. Just give it a try. We're into Eat like out of pen. Like, just give it a try. So mm-hmm. we're gonna end up there. Move on to our next show. Uh, let's talk about uh, Hike Hero. Sayu's mom's really trying to catch some hands, ain't she? Oh, she about to catch yeah. that cup too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Dude, she, we should uh, we should mention too uh, that again. We saw the final episode tomorrow, so yeah. We'll have to say that for another discussion. So this is only for. So was it episode eleven? Oh, I don't even remember. Twelve. But... Twelve. Twelve. We have, 12. We have one. Yeah, one. Yeah, basically we have yeah. one left. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, is this the one you want to rant about for just rant about uh, mom in general? I mean, I, I think we kind of ranted. I, I ranted last week with we just some stupid lines, and then just kind of because at at the time I was trying to keep it like under the ra- under wraps last week because uh, I saw the I think me and Justin both saw the episode before um, last before we actually started like last week's episode. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I had seen. Okay. It. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's. Like if if he would have thrown the cup, like if Yoshida would have thrown that cup in the mom's face, I would have given this season ten or like this season ten out of ten. <laughs> like if it just would, if it just turned down like a just extremely dark path, where it's just like holy shit, and it, it just blew me out of the water ten out of ten. I mean, you know, but, like throwing face, throwing water in someone's face, not really a dark path, sir. I said, I said the glass, not oh, water, the glass, because okay. <laughs> it looked me, like he was ready to throw. Tea, it wasn't water, all right. Get that <laughs> correct. Yeah, but he had to choose the adult way, and just be and be a uh, you know just you know keep calm and just drink it. But it, I'm it's... I'm all right with it. I mean, I think it's fitting to Yoshida's kind of growth as a character, where he you know obviously realizes the situation he's in and is able to kind of you know reserve himself for <laughs> someone who's you know experience as a viewer in what we've seen of her in the last two episodes has just been she is the worst spawn of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> in this series so i don't know like i i definitely don't really have any like positive feelings for her and i really hope they don't do some like cheesy ending where she finally has a change of heart i feel like that would just be really lame because i feel like with what we've seen of her like her character's just a bitch and she yeah. blames sayu for kind of losing everything in her life and is really kind of just showing like how materialistic and shallow she is as an individual. At least that's, that's my opinion personally. Quick question for you, Justin. Did yeah. did she lo- did she actually lose anything from because of Sayu? Well, the husband obviously isn't in the picture anymore, right? No, he that wasn't was there my... before though, wasn't he? I, I, th- I, I thought he was gone I know before. They, they did it. The brother did an explanation, and I may be misremembering. So, um, you know, the dad, the, the father left after Sayu was born. And yeah. I think yeah, that's, that's I probably, it. that's probably, oh, what yeah, that, that okay. Against okay. Her. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm leading a lot into, into that piece of information of why Sayu's mom is the way she is and just kind of shows again how yep. shallow of a, of a person she really is. So, mm. um, I definitely hope she doesn't have some change of heart at the end, which I feel like the way it's going, like they will. And they'll use like Yoshida being such a like strong individual that, you know, makes her kind of have that change of heart. But I honestly don't know. Like, I think like we've said, you know, the the end of the season has definitely been kind of sprinting towards the finish line, for lack of a better term. Um, So I I still think I enjoyed the show for a decent amount you know leading up to this point but i definitely don't have as high of expectations as i would say i i potentially did you know before for this show right so. yeah i don't know again it's like it's really making it like really dramatic where i mean you're basically you're basically dropping the 
you know, like, I wish you were never born, Bob's. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. I was like, okay, let's just take it easy. That's going a little bit overboard. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I could be wrong. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's because, but in that situation, it would almost make it sound like, because I thought like she, like her mom, like became a bitch first because they started, you know, questioning her about like uh, that, uh, you know, Sayu's friend um, committing suicide. And then, but then they made it sound like she was always a bitch, like basically from like the, you know, like the moment, you know, basically since the moment she was born. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of to that point of. I thought we we kind of knew about that in the earlier episodes. Yeah. Uh, I think think it was this episode that really was anything new. I think it was just, again, like you said, Strange, just make it more traumatic or how much of it she is. But but yeah. she did reach she did reach a new low though right because yeah. you know with the whole slapping of Sayu and then you you like I'm not a parent so I wouldn't know but if I was a <laughs> okay. child right because you know the cause... worst thing the worst thing you can hear from your parent is saying like I wish I would have never gave birth to you like that's yeah. reaching like a pretty much all time low so yeah I mean my uh, God she's act- she's yeah. she's like the one acting like a fucking child here too it's right. just like you're supposed to be like the adult here and you're yeah. basically you're 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 talking you're talking like uh almost like the like a middle school slash like early like high school right with giant saying i wish i was never born but you're saying i wish you were never born and it's just, just like okay too, that she was just constantly saying like <laughs> shut up when it, when you both yoshida and the older brother were trying to be the voice of reason yeah it's just like he knows how much of a piece of shit she yeah. is yeah. but just does not want to admit that <laughs> yeah so again, so, it kind of belittles the the fact of if she does kind of admit like, oh yeah, I need to change and all these other things. Like, yeah, I need to act like an adult. Uh, I don't know. I, I, where I'm, where do you guys think it will go if you had to if you had to guess with the finale? Yoshida's got to end up with Sayu, right? Because I mean, if he doesn't, then this 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 like a lot of this like awkward sexual tension in a sense, or uh, with like relationship between them would have been. I don't, it almost felt like I don't want to say for nothing. But it's just like that if he just ends up with Goto, which I'm perfectly fine with it. But it's mm-hmm. more of like that we really didn't have that kind of development. All we really had was you know her just saying, "Oh, she was in a relationship. Oh, she actually was a, uh, or she was never in a relationship, but she just said she was, and how she was always in love with him." It's just, or for however long, it's just like okay, this is a lot of shit to drop with really no kind of uh, character development between the two, which we kind of just had missed that giant gap. But at the same time, it would have been very nice to know. Uh, Yoshida's ex, like that whole arc that we right. just, it was a whole cutout because that could have also given us more kind of context in the situation and just in general with like, you know, like, uh, you know, what do you like, who, like who is, who he's into besides just the size of the plot, which we found out earlier, like early in the show that, that I felt like we were just, uh, would have been nice to have. Uh, I'm, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming like, they just got to do a time skip for uh, Sayu like graduates from high school, and then that will be, like, be the excuse for them to get together. Because then now, now she's legal, so that's why. That's why I assume uh, and she'll, she'll come live with him in Tokyo. That's that's what I'm assuming. That's that's very cliche, and I'm that's what I'm leaning towards. But I'm just gonna throw it out there and say that Yoshida sticks to his gun, right? Because he specifically said he's not into younger girls; he's into the older ladies. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna do like a time skip. Uh, Sayu's gonna finish high school. And then eventually, you know, like skip to the future, she comes back to visit Yoshida, but then Yoshida will be able to go to. That's 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 all I'm like. <laughs> there it is. That's, that's, end. That's, the Goto fans I mean, get the win at the end. Right. Right. Like I would rather have that, but I'm leaning towards this cliche ending. Like I cannot. No, it's gonna be cliche as hell. It's gonna be the time right. skip, and then Yoshida, being Yoshida, is gonna live in the exact same apartment, and <laughs> you know, Sayu's gonna show up, knock on the door. There's gonna be this heartfelt moment of like, oh, Tadaima, or like, Okairi, oh, and then it's gonna be like, no. <laughs> Hey, you know this to, whole thing of like this is your real home you're now home and she's like hey, yeah i'm home to be, to be fair it is <laughs> expensive. credits it is expensive to move apartments in japan so i don't blame them for staying in the same apartment it's an anime yeah. fuck that shit that that rule doesn't apply here <laughs> <laughs> all right uh what's gonna happen what do you guys think is gonna happen like when that time skip happens uh where do you th- where do you what do you think the condition of yuzuha is gonna be do you think she's gonna be on the side of the road in a oh. ditch 
Like basically just a, or I mean, just like, they, or, or they, having a like tent out and out outside of his they apartment. They made it seem like she calmed down, like when she was telling Yosha to chase after Sayu. So nah, that was all a bait. Uh, there is oh, no okay. calming down with her. She switches like this. That's gonna and... be the final final season. So then they can have a season two. They're gonna have that moment with you know Yoshida and Sayu, and then in the corner you're gonna see you know, okay. Izuka just creeping over, and it's gonna be like to be oh. continued question mark. Yes, with a little little <laughs> glimmer of a knife. With the, with the crazy yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yes, and then you have your spin-off series. <laughs> oh God! Yes, oh, Lord. the dark spin-off she series. Just had, like, yes, a, a, the script for a new horror manga, a new horror anime. Uh, oh, hey man, hey, I'm, willing how... be, I'm willing to be a consultant for all these shows if needed. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the one right. That's the one thing that the writer has done with this. That basically just you know use a the use a hot character right there, perfect for a horror. Yeah. We'll right, see. But, yeah, well, we got one one episode left, so uh, yeah. So this will we not will be see. our final discussion. We'll definitely we'll post uh, our detailed thoughts on the season in general in the new format. So I'll look forward to that. And the the final we'll episode be will be will be included in that in that. So it will not be the last yes. time you hear a Pika Hero, sure. Sadly. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for Pika Hero for this time. Sadly for Shren. <laughs> Move on to our next show. Talk about Shadow's House. This is also a show that didn't uh, end this week. So this, wow. this episode, yeah, I'm trying to like gather all my star thoughts here. So this episode, Shadow's House. I don't, so actually, I don't know if we mentioned it last week. Uh, someone in our comments mentioned how um, yeah, last week's episode was actually different than manga. And mm. we, we knew that we kind of knew that earlier from uh, episode 4 with the, the Veil Dolls. It was kind of different than what they showed in the manga. And then the author actually had to tweet out saying like oh like they did it to like i guess something about, like like trying to fix plot holes but they'll try to but they understand everyone's concerns they'll try to fix it for if they ever get another season try to fix it there but now apparently the last episode last week's episode we had we had more changes than the, the, the manga source so i didn't look into that in detail i think we'll look more into that after the season ends. so we'll just bear that in mind Mm-hmm. Have the reactions from people been negative towards it, or just I haven't seen concern? anything, so I'm not sure. Yeah, so like I was telling David last time, like the last time I'd actually looked at like the Reddit threads and everything was when they did talk about the change with the veiled dolls being introduced in a, in a different format. Um, I did look a little bit at this latest episode's thread, and honestly, I I didn't notice personally too many comments about people talking about like further changes and everything. So. Um, you know, definitely happy that the the viewer who commented on the video, you know, shared with us that there were these changes. But I think, you know, obviously, as coming into it as an anime only viewer, like I would have never known mm-hmm. anything different. And yeah. I think to your point, David, with kind of where we're going with the format change of the show, that'll definitely be interesting of how we our perception of the show would have gone if, you know, we had just watched it all in full and then, you know, learned about any changes and everything after the fact. Um, but I'm still perfectly happy with it. I think, you know, they're they're doing yeah. a really good job with everything of, you know, kind of going into the the next arc of sorts. So mm-hmm. the the mystery is is definitely still there. The suspense is is there, which I think is one of the great things of the show. And um the cuteness of the show is obviously still there with Amilico just just being the uh the ray of sunshine that she is and you know the the continued cute moments that we get between um Kate and uh John. John just consistently pouring his heart out for her. So hopefully, you know, he gets his his uh his praise at the end of the day from Kate in some way or another. But I don't know. I'm I'm still enjoying it a lot. So I said to myself during the episode today, if Kate doesn't accept his marriage proposal, like that'll be a disappointment. Like he he even <laughs> offered to go over there with her. He like yeah. obviously cares about Emilico. Like he's, he definitely seems like top notch out of the characters for her to, you know, accept a marriage proposal from. So yeah, I, I'm definitely happy as well to see kind of this this group of of the five um, Shadow House members all come together mm-hmm. um, where, you know, Patrick and Ricky kind of stepped up and finally, you know, helped out when they were hiding everybody from uh, Barbie and mm-hmm. then when they were searching uh, the rooms um, and then Luis and Lou are helping out in, in their kind of weird way where, you mm-hmm. know, Luis is still kind of being a very... I guess it's creepy in her ways of wanting to show mm-hmm. her ability to control people or she's just, you know, manifesting cool. her soot in people's <laughs> bodies. Yes. It's like, oh, hey, cool. Cool, Luis. Like, that's that's really cool. Um, glad, you know, you're helping out in, in your own unique way. Um, 
And then uh, the only other thing, and sorry, I'm, I'm fully like, jumping ahead here, but oh, um, right. do you guys think that um, Rum or Shirley is the one that was in that chest yes. that Kate comes across? Because the little doll mm-hmm. had like the purple ribbon on it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I, I absolutely noticed think that, that detail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was, I was okay, I'm glad, glad you noticed, Taylor. So. Going on there, yeah. <laughs> One thing that I noticed in this episode was the relationship between Barbara and Barbie. Maybe I'm just like nitpicking it a little bit too much, but up until this point, Barbie has seemed pretty much like a like completely like drank the Kool Aid. She is following the rules of Shadow's house, et cetera, et cetera. She's a tyrant mm-hmm. to all the other dolls and Shadows. Really, she's just kind of an all around bitch. And then there's Barbara, who definitely i mean he, she made her distaste of edward pretty clear and she kind of like seemed to be giving a warning rather than a threat when mm-hmm. she was talking to them you know full that you are watching your back because they're you know edward is taking over the children's ward etc cetera, etc cetera. so it actually seems like there might like it might be some sort of a setup for some future friction between those two but maybe i'm just reading into it too much no know? i i definitely remember that as well and I, I think it would make a lot of sense of like kind of further showing towards future events of like there obviously is this power divide mm-hmm. in you know the the shadows house um mm-hmm. it's most directly seen with edward and then a little bit as you just mentioned taylor with barbara and everything but i think even you know as we're learning more about those other higher up shadow lords i'm sure we're going to learn that they have a lot of different motives as well um mm-hmm. The king isn't truly, you know, the ruler at the mm-hmm. end of the day, which I think is really going to kind of further expand the story, if I had to guess. Yeah, and then the other thing I noticed, too, was Edward, when his shadow takes over, however his power works, I, it's a female? Is it? Do we know who that is? Did I miss something? I think I just took it as, like, he I has the ability of just very music-focused and voice-changing yeah. with, you know, tones and everything oh. just being that power. I, think um, I don't think the fact of it being a female yeah. voice, it was just part of his power. I don't think it had yeah. anything to do with the shadow being female. Mm-hmm. I could be totally wrong. You might be on to something, Taylor. Maybe a little bit of profit there. Um, but, <laughs> I, yeah, I, think I, don't, I don't think we know. I'm towards your that. theory, Justin. I think it's more of that. I didn't see anything else. It's just yeah. such a weird power, because it doesn't really seem to, like, give, like, g- gain him anything. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I, sp- I guess it just helps I with mean, manipulation in yeah. that front of yeah. hiding, you know, his identity. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah, I think it's something that we'll we'll see further down the road with, like, a lot of the different powers kind of fully coming mm-hmm. to the front now that we kind of have seen more and more of them. Mm hmm. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely interested to see why. Um, Shirley or Rum or whoever is in that that chest or coffin that Kate mm-hmm. came across, why they're in there and why it has to be locked with uh with that like heart shaped chain and stuff. So more just mystery yeah. and suspense being added mm-hmm. on here. Yeah. Um, especially kinda at ended. the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of ended like it kind of is like right in the middle of everything happening. So it's really dependent on what happens next week. Yeah. So I don't know. What do, what do you think will happen? Do you still think like Edward is truly out to kind of fully eliminate Kate? Or do you feel like it's almost something where Edward understands the power that Kate has and will try to bring Kate to kind of his his way of, of doing things, maybe? I mean, from what we've I mean, I guess there could be a plot twist and he may be trying to bring her to his side or or something. But I feel like, I mean, it's been really consistent feedback across the board that he's just kind of, um, you know, like like Barbara had described earlier, he, he was trying to climb the social status and mm-hmm. um, even his friends seem to be on board and understanding that, you know, that's what he cares about. That's all he cares about. So I, I would be surprised yeah. if there was a plot twist. Like, I don't think I'd love it because I would feel like it's just been like really set one way and everything's been lending you towards thinking he really does just want to take Kate down. She's got to be some yeah. sort of a threat to him, you know? Definitely. So, no, I, I totally agree with that as well, because the fact, too, that he kidnapped Emilico, that's obviously not going to bode well with Kate. So I definitely agree mm-hmm. with you, Taylor. It'd be very weak writing of her to forgive him for anything or be swayed by mm-hmm. any of his words um unless he you know is just able to keep the upper hand of keeping a milico hostage mm-hmm. um i think i'm also interested as i kind of like think further ahead is like i wonder how at some point i feel like there's going to be some mechanism that's going to be introduced of like how do you kill a shadow mm-hmm. you know what i mean because we haven't really got much into that like yeah well, we saw the moment with shirley of them not early. being able to bond 
but how do you how do you kill a shadow that's already quote unquote like bond and matured? I feel like there has to be a way that you take them out of the equation. Oh, I'm sure. So maybe that'll be something as well. Maybe but something to do with the water again. Yeah, I was, right. I assume like properties of soot applies to the shadow people because it's basically just a bunch of soot thrown together. Maybe you have to drown them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe. So that's that's the thing too. I could see like you know if Edward is a very kind of one dimensional character that just is on this mission to climb the ranks. I could see him being like one of the first characters that maybe we see the the group like eliminate. Just because, you know, he needs to be taken out of the picture for whatever reason. That is kind of where I'm leaning towards. Personally. Yeah. But we'll see. Next episode is last, last episode and I don't know. Really hoping there will be like a season two announcement soon. I would really like more. Yeah, right? Hopefully a, a very short break between uh between things, but... I'm just more curious, like, how... Uh, just how different the manga is and how impactful the changes are like yeah i just want to see if it actually is important or or if if like maybe people are just like uh, yeah reacting i almost don't want to know i, I was just gonna say just i feel like really i might ignorant. just carry on with like ignorance is bliss type yeah of thing until like it really becomes like something apparent where mm -hmm. it's just like okay stuff's not making sense or like stuff's just being glossed over and mm -hmm. you know obviously we haven't gotten to that point yet so yeah, because, like, up until this point, nothing has felt weird or forced. Timing is fine. Like, everything has felt very consistent, even if things have changed. I, like, I don't, I wouldn't consider this to be something like the second season of Promise Neverland. Like, where <laughs> even, even if you hadn't read yeah. the manga, you're like, this feels off. You can already <laughs> pick up on, like, something strange, yeah. 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 So. So, we will see. So, that's going to end it for this discussion of Shadow's House. Again, the uh, final season episode hasn't aired yet, so... We'll save that discussion for another time in our new format later on. So, that'll be it for Shadow's House. Move on to our next show. Talk about uh, To Your Eternity. You so guys, I, that ending should be banned. That should be illegal. <laughs> that was the most bullshit manufactured, like, literal cliffhanger I've ever seen. I was so <laughs> mad. Would you like to tell everybody like how quick you went from basically saying this is a garbage episode to basically loving the episode? Well, I mean, it wasn't a garbage episode. I just didn't really like <laughs> really? really care about like you know this like this like forced drama and stuff like with her marrying people. It was just I don't know. I just I didn't care about all that stuff. I don't really care for Reen or Rin or whatever her name is. She, there's nothing wrong that's with all, her. I just don't find her very compelling. Care that she can't remember her name. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 she's fine. Seconds. Like right, like it was just about right after she said this is like my least favorite episode. Then it basically, then it, then it was the moment with uh, with Gugu and her basically you know telling her the truth of like where mm -hmm. the ring came from and all that stuff and just how that was done. I thought that mm -hmm. I thought that was done really well. It was done really well. Yeah, yeah. No, I I think it's like we said last week. You know, we're in it for Gugu at this point right now because even Fushi has really taken a a back seat to everything. <laughs> so um, I was really happy to see Gugu just put his brother in his place and just be like, nah, man, like you're, you're out of the picture. Like I've got bigger and better things that I'm trying to aspire to. So like, I, I could appreciate that kind of throwback and everything. Mm -hmm. And then um, to your point, Taylor, yeah, I definitely feel like the stuff with Reen and, you know, the whole party and everything for her kind of formal en engagement and everything was a little bit drawn out. You know, it had its moments where, you know, you have one of the other like Royal nobles kind of coming up to Gugu and just being like, you know, hey, what are you doing here? Like, you know, there's no way that you would be invited to such a prestigious, you know, event such as this and kind of putting him down again. And then, um, yeah, definitely didn't foresee that that last moment coming. Uh, definitely had me uh, shook when, um, you know, the the little pier or whatever they were standing on just, just broke off. And I was just like, well, here we go again. My man Gugu can't win. And then, you know, of course, God comes in and he's like, Ah, uh, but the knockers came back, and I was just like, "Oh God!" <laughs> so that's so weird. How like, it's, that's the name, like knockers. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, yeah, I think to your point, Justin. I think it's just because like it's just Beam's just such a weak character. So like that, that's why we don't really care about like what's the thing with like her and Gugu. Like, yeah. So, yeah. And, and, I feel like that's think, the only way she's salvageable is because Gugu has a yeah. passion for her. Yeah, right? he like, loves her, so I want her to be alive and healthy, and I want them together yeah, because just that's for what he wants. <laughs> yeah. But like, but this whole episode was like the, that was that part. Like, so yeah, I was 
Like, it was only half the episode. I wouldn't mind as much, but it was, like, it was the whole episode. But minus mm -hmm. the last, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. So, that mm -hmm. was unfortunate. Dude, I keep saying, man, Gugu's gonna live, but she's gonna die. I just get that feeling. Nah, if she's she... gonna live, Gugu's gonna die. Dude, okay, this is, okay. Switch, so this why swap it around. This is, okay, so I just feel like, okay, if that happens, I'm gonna dock the show for points because it's basically just, it's doing the same thing over and over again. We get a character, they make you care about it, kill them off, and then Fu Fushi gets the, uh, he gets, like, the abilities. But this one, I think, will change it because I think, like, Gugu has, like, the build. He's ready to basically just go on. I think this is, because basically if Gugu goes with Fushi then on this, like, because uh, I feel like he's going to be a part of, like, a, a part of, like, the party for uh, for Fushi. And the only reason why I believe he would go with Fushi is because she ends up dying somehow. And I, and I feel like she would end up, you know, dying in the process of saving Gugu or somebody or something. Yeah. I, I, I think no, that that's, a, that's a good point you bring up. It definitely would give Gugu the resolve of like really. That's actually a really good point. If like the knockers maybe kill Reen, and that gives Gugu a very strong resolve to you know go along this journey with Fushi. I'm... So, just complete side note, real quick. Um, because I, I was talking to I was talking to chat when you guys said knockers, I was just thinking of boobs. I, I completely <laughs> like like that's basically like the only thing well, I was hearing. I completely forgot fun. what they were called that, until just what, now. That's why we're making fun of the name because it's, yeah. yeah, that's they're why I thought you were laughing earlier. You know. so I was like, oh, these guys are talking they're about not, they're okay. not knocking on doors. They're not, you know. <laughs> I never think of it that way. Like, who uses the word knockers anymore for boobs? Like that, it would not have come to my head. I'm Austin boobs. Powers does. Austin Powers was like twenty <laughs> years ago. Hey, hey, you know, it's still relevant to this day. Yeah, exactly. I mean, anyway, yeah, sorry. I don't know. I was gonna mention, like, I wonder how much of the opening is baiting me because we do see Gugu a lot in the opening, and especially in his yeah. like adult form. So I don't know, like, is that is that a bait for like if he's still gonna die or if he joins the party or what? So or if it's playing a Jujutsu Kaisen and just showing him in the Fushi future even though he's it? dead. Or it's, or it's, or <laughs> they're Fushi. pulling a mark. It's yeah. like we don't know. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's just crazy. It's just like I actually like I. I don't know. I feel like I want to know what happens with this show. Like, I feel like I'm like, it's more like the cliffhangers are more brutal than other shows where it's like, I really want it to happen at the same time. I don't know what's happening or what's the point of everything. Um, but besides, you know, obviously with the druid, these druid yeah. people or trees, I, I don't know. I, I feel know. like if anything, like potentially Fushi has to experience like a, a major loss in a way. Cause I feel like Fushi Man. doesn't really, <laughs> He's been he still doesn't all... really understand things. He's been watching other like, people he... like lose like their loved ones. Exactly. Nothing. Nothing's, nothing's really hurt for him. Like he's had a little bit of moments with when he you know transformed into March and everything. But I feel like potentially this is something where it may be a reason to really dig into Fushi. Because even you know the the God guy was like, "Hey man, like you're not taking the knockers very seriously. Like if you stay here, things aren't going to end very yeah. well." And Fushi's that's, like, nah, I'm just gonna stay here. Like, fuck you, God. Like, I do my what, own thing. That's what I was expecting too. Like, like yeah, like some consequences to his choice of like not traveling more. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, man. I'm kind of expecting something along that line. Like, this is him experiencing experiencing a loss, and then that's what push him to go get stronger and travel more. I don't know. Part of me still thinks we can't really trust a uh, God man. <laughs> Honestly, I think we can. I don't know. I got. I got a really no reason. I just think of like a Sith Lord from Star Wars. That man ain't okay, up he, to no good. He does look. He does look <laughs> sketchy. But but I'm a I'm a strand because I I I just feel like he. I think he does. It, it makes. It sounds like. I mean, I know he's the narrator and he's not always. Yeah, but, he does the narration, guys. But no, but it's like. But he keeps saying how like like the world is in danger, and it. it I I think I feel genuine from him that like he wants to protect this world from. From the invaders, and I think that's why he's, he's harsh on Fushi because I, I think he really does yeah. want to. And that, I think that's why he did the whole roundabout way of like of putting Fushi in the rock and then like changing forms because I think he's trying to. I think he really does want to save the world. So, but we'll see. It could always yeah. be a bait yeah. too, right? We we don't know enough about this evil force, these knockers. But he yet does to look really sketchy. This... So like yeah. it's hard. Oh, he looks hella sketchy. I mean, it could be no. it could turn out to be some sort of like an unreliable narrator thing where we're that only too. seeing things from mm -hmm. his perspective. And maybe there's actually more to the knockers that are not bad or I mean, we really, we really don't know, understand like the, the then, I guess. I mean, who's who's to say at all? Yeah. To Taylor's point, who's to say the knockers are bad in the first place? Yeah. Huh? And then he'll really be the sketchy. <laughs> floor that we right. That would be a huge twist of just like, hey, he's so, trying to stop everything and act like, you know, they're fighting for good. But maybe there's a reason that the knockers are, I mean, you know, 
maybe there's a reason he needed to be using something like, you know, like Fushi, who is completely clueless about everything else. Maybe yeah. he needed to work with somebody who's clueless. So, so many lots questions. Of, lots of theories. Yeah. So many questions. So little <laughs> answers. And hopefully I would think, you know, it, it seems like next week's episode is hopefully building up to some cl climactic events. So we can hopefully move on to the next, you know, whatever mm -hmm. group of individuals. Yeah, I, th I think next episode is going to be the final of the arc just because uh, there's a special of the week after that. Uh, oh, is there? Oh, is there? A, a recap still, of the first 12. Like, we still don't yeah. know like, how many episodes the show okay. has. Like, if it's... 20. Well, 20. Yeah, it's, we, we, 20. Know, we know okay. this, yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. I keep, yeah. I keep yeah, being able to like, confirm or not, but I guess, yeah, it'll be 20. Yeah, so yeah. it'll be 20, but it'll be a really kind of awkward... I, I'm not. It's just kind of like a weird spot to kind of have like a recap. But, you yeah. know, whatever. At least it's 20. I, I'll take it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Next week's fitting with just holidays and everything. So, yeah. Well, I don't think July Fourth really uh, affects Japan, but. <laughs> well, I mean, they're doing. Uh, I think they're also delaying um, My Hero. My Hero because they, they have, have something a, going on. They have a special right? music program going on at, a, at the same time. Uh, so that's why they're okay. delaying. Nothing to do with us. <laughs> hey man, I need Japan to respect. We'll respect their holidays and they respect ours. Yeah. Hey man, I'd love to hit, I'd love to have Golden Week off. So get on it, yeah. America. Same, man. same. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. I, it's yeah. It's, so I feel like we'll get like a week uh, week break then, just because the uh, the week after this this uh, next week for the twelfth episode, it's I got a notification for a, a recap on July fifth. Okay. So, uh, yeah, well, it's good to see we, that we're we moving on get... to the next story or next arc. Yep, yeah. should get resolution next episode. Cannot wait. Yep, so, we'll end it there. But again, yeah, there's still more of your turning to go on. So, we'll probably come back to this once all the episodes have aired and we'll bring it to our, our new format. So, that'll be it for to your turning or from us from the On to our next show. We'll talk about <laughs> Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> All right, I want to say um, just first the first thing, like Justin, like I've been defending this show so much <laughs> this whole time, so like, so I've got you back, but like this first half was hella <laughs> awkward. Like, oh my god, I I couldn't bear watching this first half. Like, I, this is where I draw the line. Oh, all the first half. What was, Dude, wrong, it was so buddy? fucking awkward. Oh my god, with, like, so drawn and out and, and weird. And, you know, I can't defend that part. Like, I like I I can defend like like Takemichi being beat up and stuff. But I can't defend this awkwardness. <laughs> I, I think I even mentioned about just like how really long drawn out this was, and then I, I, then I even mentioned I was like I was like, what if this happens right now where he just takes off and doesn't even get to see you know what she looks like in this sort? I was like I was like how on a scale of one to ten, how pissed would Koo be? <laughs> it was a rough episode, guys. <laughs> rough episode, but at least we got to see Hina again, right? You know, she's not yeah, briefly for Tony. Yeah, I know. Kamichi yeah. takes oh. off after saving this bitch, going through all this time trying to save her. He takes off and leaves her in the dark in the middle of nowhere. Well, and he's also, like, "This will be fine." Before that, he didn't even want to see her in the first place. He was gonna take oh, off man. anyways and not visit her in the apartment. Oh. Right. But, yeah, but, but it's okay, guys. It's okay. You know why? Because I am a man who believes in catalysts, right? All thanks to the mighty Dragon Ball Z. Without a catalyst, the main character will never grow. So due to this, this traumatic event, like what, what are you talking about? This Dude. guy just did like a crazy back move uh, from a bite to like doing a rear naked choke, uh, choke hold. And we've never seen him be like you would think capable doing enough, anything physical before. You think that give enough confidence to meet Hina in the future, but no, we still have to go through all this. Yeah, this guy's supposed to be a badass. Yeah, this guys, guy's running uh, away from a girl. Guys, We're, building there. This, We're building there. Okay. This is a different build, all right? Takamichi is special. Slowly, okay, you guys <laughs> like, are going from like from here to up here. Like that's <laughs> that's not I, how it works, guys. I've this is real life. So I've given him so many like benefits of the doubt, so many times. Like I'm running out of it. Like I can't like. <laughs> Like he's had many he's had many my, hype speeches. I will say, like I said before, though, it's not necessarily Takamichi th that is the one that you know is his story. Like he's a he is a pretty insufferable character. I won't lie. It's it's the characters and cast that he meets along the way that are the ones that are I personally would say the ones that are special. 
Um, oh my god. So he's just there me, all the time. Speaking <laughs> of other characters, when he saw that fucking guy with the blonde hair and the, the sin tattoo, oh, and he's Hanma, like, who Hanma. is this? Are you fucking kidding me? You just saw this <laughs> he, asshole. He remembered. Like, ten, he was like, uh-oh. Saw the hand tattoo. Mm. Yeah. It didn't cl- click right. If he also, hadn't the seen thing. the tattoo, he wouldn't have known. Also, and it was like so clearly <laughs> obvious. Also, he and his necklace is like, hmm. I have to get a closer look at that. I'm like, oh bitch, you just fucking gave her the necklace. Like, it's uh, that was 12 years ago, guys. Oh, oh my god, god. Kidding me? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure okay. everyone remembers what happens 12 oh, years ago. So, uh, so I'm sure he knew. So, so I'm sure he knew everything that happened within that 12 years. Then that we didn't it, get to see. It, it, it took a while, didn't it? It takes nope. him a while to remember. Oh, yeah, when yeah. mm-hmm. it's too late. Yeah, yeah. It takes a while when you're time traveling. <laughs> I mean, it does. We don't know how time traveling works. You know, it can have a negative effect on the guy. No, like, because I, I, I mean, I love Mikey and Draken. Like, basically, they're they're the two reasons why, like, I'm watching this show. Also, I brought up the fact that in all these flashbacks towards 12, 12 years, we've never seen either one of them once. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, mm-hmm. sorry, Justin, go ahead. No, sorry, I Justin. was just gonna say, you guys, one hundred percent valid frustrations. No doubts about that. <laughs> Takamichi, he takes the top spot for. You know, back in the day, it used to be Shinji from Evangelion was the most insufferable character. Oh, Subaru you know, for me. Why did Arian say Subaru? He does not deserve to be in this sentence with fucking Takabe. Oh, no, he, uh, yeah, basically, yeah. It's, uh, uh, yeah, okay. it, but, no, it, no, like, yeah, basically, Justin, what you said, like, like honestly, like, I, I, I watched the show for the, for the, for the surrounding cast. It just, it's just too bad we see this fuck too much right now. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I will admit I I was laughing at the parts at the very end when you know you have this very emotional parts of Takamichi you know trying to run to the car to save Hina, and then you know <laughs> he's looking at Akun. He's like Akun, why? Like this was supposed to be different. We couldn't all do this. And then of course you know the the wire drops down to create the spark explosion, and Takamichi gets blown back. I couldn't help but laugh a little bit. More so for the fact that they do the exact same, like, knockback explosion when he's having this very <laughs> meaningful moment with Hina. Um, but I will say, I am glad that they didn't do any censorship or anything to show, like, the extent of the damage to Hina from, like, you know, just the steering column driving through her lower abdomen. So I was like, damn, like, you know, they did that part extremely well, but I, I get it. Uh, your gripes are totally fair. Like, I, I will say I have picked a character to stand behind in this show, and that is Akun. I want him to, like, get justice. I want, want him, him to, to survive. I just want him to be a hair- yeah. I just want to give my haircut with not being controlled, you know? <laughs> just just be, yeah, just that, that moment. Somebody save him. <laughs> right. Uh, but it's like... Uh, the, the one... Oh, sorry, David. Before I forget, um, the, the the parts like the, the, I, like none of these moments are really like they really feel emotional because once you have time travel in play, like those moments are just gone. If for me at least, it, it's the, the really the only tension that kind of builds up is it's like oh like because we know as long as he doesn't die, like we're fine. So I, I was like oh I was like all right, they're not gonna just kill the MC. Um, that so that really all that kind of tension for me is just gone. So like her just like sitting there just kind of bleeding out. And him having one of his another like kind of like you know messages like oh, I swear to God I'm gonna get like revenge and uh, this shit's gonna be different this time it's like, okay man we're twelve episodes in and everything's the same still so you keep doing your like little hype speeches like so they have to so so I don't know so they really have to get like emotional scenes for me like a different way but it's like it's just like yeah. for, I, I mean I don't really know how they can do it like none of those moments have really hit me yet but I'm gonna kind of hope that at some point it happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I I, I kind of felt like a little bit like I felt bad for Hina because like even if time gets rewound and even if she got saved, she's still like there in the moment and feeling like a lot of sadness because he'd broken up with her before and now she's dying and in pain. So I like feel bad for her like in that moment, you know. Um, but like I don't know. I've seen enough shows where there's like time travel or something similar to time travel elements where like eventually at some point a subplot will be brought in where it's like, oh, if you travel too much, your brain starts to get scrambled, or oh, there's only a certain amount of times you can go back, so now you're limited. And I kind of mm. figure that's surely gotta come. In. I mean, it's just, I mean, just unlimited tries, or well, <laughs> well, just when they have... well, the limit isn't like he can't. It's a it's twelve years exact from the date, so he can't do he can't mm-hmm. redo like the summer. That's true. Of, like, there is that limitation. Thirteen years ago, so like he like, so if you fail if you fail to save Draken, you wouldn't get that chance again. So mm-hmm. That's, that's true. Like, the only real limit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. I, mean, I don't still... know. Oh, sorry. No, go no, ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um, I was just gonna say a couple of parts I'm actually interested in that they have not mentioned yet is because before they would say that you know like the that that the end that uh, the 
the MC is would be kind of like just in a normal state, you know, when he's actually in during in his time travel state. But at this point, like when he came when he came to, he was in the middle of something or in the middle of I mean, he had no idea like why he was there. And then also he didn't have the he didn't have uh, her her bro- uh, her uh, her brother's number in his phone. Mm-hmm. Basically, he just randomly called him. It's like, you know, who the hell like who the hell is this? Mm-hmm. So they don't actually explain like why that was the case. So those, those are the, so there's a couple like big parts. I'm still kind of like, um still interested in like why that happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, it's definitely something where there's lots of butterfly effects mm-hmm. that you know take place with these time travels. So that's something that's all going to be kind of further developed down the line. Um, I will agree though, from your guys' viewpoint of being anime onlys and kind of now looking back at what I was able to digest of the series in manga format at the time. You know there were a good handful of chapters. So there never was really that direct moment of like, oh man, I have to wait, you know, a full week for the next thing. And, you know, now watching it alongside you guys, like I I definitely see the frustrations of just like, oh man, like it's been this many episodes. We get, you know, to what we see is like some semblance of growth from Takamichi. And then he hits the reset switch (laughs) and, you know, some of these frustrating moments. So no, I think it's all valid and fair. And I think it's one of those things that I don't know, like, At the end of the day, if you did decide to drop it, I wouldn't blame you at all. And if you did decide, you know, if you did see kind of some kind of, I guess, positivity towards either, you know, side characters and other things, then going the route of the manga totally makes sense. And, you know, you obviously have 200 chapters worth of material (laughs) that you can just blow through there. Um, It's a slow burn. I can't lie. Like, and that's just the way it's going to be. Well, it hasn't even been frustrated for like frustrating for me. I'm actually I'm still enjoying the show. Like I, I, here I am like shitting on the main character, but it's like I, I think a lot of like the supporting cast like the, uh, they're so, they're like strong enough that they're definitely carrying the show for me. But, like I do not care about Takemichi at all. Like I I would love the the, the ability to just move to Drak or Mike. I know, or Mikey. right? If we could and just then, have like any and other person. It's just unfortunate that he's the catalyst. Yeah, but and he is the catalyst. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, unless like somehow Takemichi, you know, just like some secret high five with Takemichi or, or sorry with Mikey or Drak, and then moves the ability for him right before he dies and makes this like a ten out of ten show. I don't, but I don't see that anything like that happening. <laughs> no comment. I think that I will probably just continue to wait and make my decision at the end of the season. See how it plays out. I'm kind of leaning towards, like, if there is another season after this, that I would watch the other season. I don't think I'm going to hop on the manga right away. I think since I started watching the anime, I'll just keep with the anime. Mm-hmm. I mean, because, like, it's it's well animated. Like, I, it, it's a nice show to watch. Like, I would like to watch it if they're going to make another season, personally. I just want well, to I mean, we have the, the next arc already confirmed and everything, like you said, from last week's right? And so... Mm-hmm. I would have to guess it's going to be 24 episodes. They'll probably do another 12 or 13 for this now next arc yeah. that's mm-hmm. being shown. So I can't remember the last time I've ever seen a show have like an unknown amount of episodes. This and they long, kind of man. are just continuing to, you know, test the waters and see like, I mean, obviously it did well enough where they fully greenlit this, this next season already. And they didn't yeah, just but, cut it because they could have easily cut it at this episode. This could have yeah. been a finale clip. Oh God, that would have been fucking brutal. <laughs> that would have been brutal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Justin, I don't know if it, have you, anybody heard from Sasha? Have you gotten like his recent thoughts on the show? I actually was texting him a little bit earlier this morning. Um, he hasn't watched the last like three oh, episodes. God. He was kind oh, of letting himself build up, you know, a little bit. Probably a good backlog. move. And, and I, I honestly think he'll enjoy it more for that reason. Yeah, so I agree. Um, I know he's really been enjoying it for the most part. Um, he's had similar gripes, I think, with, with Takamichi a little bit, but. I don't know, like, okay. it, it definitely, to, to Taylor's point, you know, like, the animation and everything does a, does a decent enough job. Um, the soundtrack, the opening and ending are really great, and mm-hmm. not that that makes the show itself any better, but it definitely <laughs> h- helps, it helps, you know, continuing with the show. Um, but if I had to guess, he's probably still still enjoying it. it seems gotcha. like he's pretty he's pretty locked in so yeah, far. I, I still believe that this is one of the shows that, I, I mean, I feel like I would appreciate it or enjoy it a lot more, like, if I, if I basically picked up the manga and just burned through it. Where you can just get through a lot of those parts where it's just like we're because these moments we have like with Takamichi where we're just hanging on to it every week and we're like oh my god but when the manga we can just basically keep going it's like okay we can just keep going we get past this guy he gets to a point where hopefully he improves <laughs> and then we can just and finally like enjoy the show yeah i, I um, definitely feel like i would enjoy it a lot more 
You know, guys, if you can't enjoy a meta's worst, you don't deserve meta's best. You Dude, know, I'm sure you guys have heard that before. Whatever you say, sir. We've seen it. The question is, where is that? He's not even at that. And he can only go up from here, best? guys. We may not know. Dude, do you know what? Cool. I have cool. belief. If I could pick an episode earlier that we had where I said, like, he can only get better from here. Uh huh. I'd be basically like eating my words. Like we're basically still stuck where he. Like, I'm yeah, still waiting for that moment to happen. Him. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that moment to happen. <laughs> um, Non-believers, you don't deserve them. I believe it's hey, just I, taking I a long time. Or no, yeah. Not, yeah not, I mean, you guys have definitely you, held, held resolute for sure. So I, yeah. I can appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's just one of those shows where I feel like with a lot of other shows, there haven't been many that have like a really slow burn. Where this one really has kind of you've been feeling the effects of it. I don't know anything else. Yeah, so that'll be it. Last that we'll talk about on the weekly part, and yeah, once all the episodes have aired, we're gonna we'll again have another. We're gonna have a episode focused on Tokyo Avengers in our new format. So, but that'll be a while because it seems like it'll be a while till this this show. It's gonna keep going. The season end. So that'll be it for Tokyo Avengers from us. Move on to next show. Well, My Hero Academia. Oh, this is this is the uh, the episode that got my interest back in the show. Honestly, yeah, I mean, starting this a new one, arc, so. it has more depth to it. It's more like it's more mature. You know, there's there's actually con- like I'm actually watching something. You know, I'm not just some <laughs> like stupid slice of life show in a sense, right? <laughs> so you get you get the introduction of a new like villain, and then the the new OP. Like it, the music wasn't that great, but I do like how it kind of showcases <laughs> what it uh, has in store for us. That's funny you oh, said that just, Justin and I really were just talking about that before we started recording. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was terrible. I love I love Man with a Mission. Love a lot of the songs that they've done on different animes, but this song, mm-hmm. it ain't it ain't it, Chief. Nope. <laughs> the uh, the mix we're, of of English is it's not it. We're, we're just nope. not. I guess we're not. We're just not feeling the carousel here. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But, but uh, I, I know it's it'll it'll be nice to see you know Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku all working together, since those are but, like the, the three but, main characters for me anyway. I know, but I just remember like the beginning of the beginning when we were talking about season. I was like saying I wanted more focus on the other characters because I feel like it's just the the Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki mm-hmm. show. And it's this, this lo and behold, and there the it is. And also, well, it's the same people who are in the movie as well. So, mm. well, we got more. <laughs> we got more, uh, like a little bit, a uh, little bit more of um, what's going on with uh, the League of Villains. It sounds like they got a little bit bigger. During no, I think the... they're, I think they're their own separate entity. This is probably like a third party coming is it in. Separate, you I feel like us. It's the, I, the, I feel like it is the Liberation Army. Or yeah, whatever, that had a hundred thousand in it. Yeah, it's crazy. Was yeah. that hundred thousand? I think yeah. it's said hundred thousand. Yeah, that's what they had said at the end. It was like they numbered like hundred thousand when uh, hmm, okay. uh, Todoroki's dad was sure, you know, yeah, figuring said, out the, the sure, message. Yeah, pretty sure that's the Japanese. Is, yeah, they said Hakuman, which is hundred thousand. That's hmm, okay. There's just one gripe I had about this episode where you know he was <laughs> he was saying. Where he's basically, oh, I'm being watched, but he was being hella suspicious. <laughs> like, there's an entire time. It's like, oh, yeah, I just have these four random books. He's like, yeah. focus on the second chapter. <laughs> yeah. The highlighted and then, like, part. Ten seconds yeah. later, the <laughs> second chapter. Well, yeah. even, even that part, even after that part, like, like it took Endeavor a while to get, so, uh, no, so I guess I can understand, like, it took a while for him to get, but, like, the episode kept repeating that part so many times. It's like, it kept getting repetitive. Well, it was so, even worse when Hawks was talking to like the hero agency or whatever, like, oh yeah, they're listening to our every move. And it's like, you're literally talking to them yeah. right now on the phone. Like, <laughs> if they're listening to your every move, why are you telling them they're listening? So oh. I totally agree with that. That definitely was a, a weak yeah. part on it Hawks. Got, like, end. Way played out. Yeah. It was just like a that, that was really the only like minor thing that I had. Everything else I I'm I'm, I'm it's just made me hype for the still, for the season. I'm still like very like it's just on the whole like Making Hawks a double agent plan, like, because, like, because it just seems like, 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 you know, like, because he's just talking to Dobby the whole time, but it just seems like, like, even the people who are trying to con just, like, are, like, not buying it. So it's like, I don't know, it seems not a very well thought yeah. out plan. Like, like, it could go very wrong. It's basically like nobody trusts anybody. So it's like, at the point, what's the point of having a double agent? <laughs> I don't know. Because yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's really weird. It makes Man, both sides kind of look dumb at the end it, of the day. It, it does. Like, it really you does. You know, you know, Dobby's not that dumb. You know, you know. 
yeah. talks hopefully isn't that dumb. They try, they, how... they, try, they, they try to justify it by saying like, oh, like I know you're not buying it, but I still, I'm still valuable. So you're, you're thinking about what can I eat out of me? And I still got you. It's like, I don't know, this mm -hmm. seems still not like a very well thought out plan. That's still very risky. So, Or they're not showing it very well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think like I said last week, they, they actually decided to switch up the order of the arcs a little bit. Oh, did so... they? Yeah. Um, I'm interested because when does do we know when the My Hero movie will come out? It's on August. The new one. And so I wonder if that's potentially maybe why they did a little bit to focus more on Deku, uh, Bakugo, and Todoroki to like build up oh, for hype and movie. ticket sales for the movie. That makes as sense. The main three. Um, that's why I, mean, I would have to guess I mean, why I mean, they're doing I mean, that. Anime so. movies in general are still doing very well right now. Yeah. So still, there's still not a lot of movies being shown in new movies being shown yeah. in Japan. I, so. Hey, Definitely as, 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 a manga, as a manga reader, a very interesting choice that they decided to make. I but mean, I, I don't have any doubt that they'll be able to make it work with the arcs that they're like, swapping. You're not, you're not worried that like it's a mistake with the story or anything. It, it seems like I was going to ask you that so. too. It's just, it's just a different events of mm -hmm. kind of about this this new liberation army. So mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I was going to ask you if you think if they're yeah, let, let us know if for some reason like no down the line or actually well, uh, in, in, since we're not doing the. The, the podcast part of it, but then you know, just like you know, send us messages and text just to let us know. Oh, for your me and Taylor will definitely let you know, but yeah, yes, it, right it now, it doesn't really seem that way. It really just seems like they're moving around a little bit, yeah. just makes You're sense. You're just gonna get different Aaron's character schedule. backgrounds at different points in time, so okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Did they really, did we really miss anything else? It's, I mean, it basically just seems like it's the, it's the, kind of like their arc with Endeavor, yeah, that's what that's what it felt like this episode, yeah. I was trying to think. They didn't show any more of Shigaraki this episode, right? It was no. just last week's episode when you see him at the very no. beginning. That was like, it, yeah. Yankee Town just, or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, other than that. Um, the only other thing really was just, was just like they had that thing where like where it seems like Hawks is, is going to like backstab best gen genus, but I don't know. Mm. Oh, we'll right, right, right. We'll see oh, yeah. how she goes okay. through. So did uh do we do we know did best genus like lose lose his ability then because like like just like the same with uh I don't oh, think he's God. lost his that ability he's just like he, super I think injured. he's hurt he, he, he lost he lost a lung. lung which is pretty yeah. pretty uh major but, Dude, what's uh, up with these okay so all my like you know like last a part of his stomach or something then they you know like best genus lasts his lung they really like to just lose uh lose the organs these, these organs yeah. I won't lie though, I completely forgot about best genus. It feels really bad, but when it comes, it's wow. like, oh yeah, like yeah. even as you know, yeah. Mongery does, it's like, oh yeah, this guy, you know. Threaten yeah. mentioned, I think last week. He, I think Threaten, it was either the last week or the week before, where he was like, where, oh yeah, where did best genus go? He's still missing, and I was like, oh. Yeah, they had that. Where, the what happened yeah. with him? Yeah, the, the part <laughs> that made me bring that up was when uh, Bakugo was like, you know, you know, fl it was like fl a flashback with Best Genius. I was like, oh yeah, shit, yeah. I forgot about him. Uh, as I say, it shows how much people care about Bakugo's mentor. Dude, I like Best. I actually like Best Genius <laughs> because of Sasha mainly. <laughs> uh, but the but new, I don't know, because he was number three, and then it sounded like uh, he was basically going to be retiring. Number. Isn't I think he's number below? four. The they're like there's this other ninja guy that's number okay. three. Oh, I thought he was three. Something. Mm. I thought, he's I thought up Hawk, there though. I thought Hawks was right below Endeavor, and then I thought Genius was below. Hawks. No, no, this is before Hawks came in. This is when All Might was still was still oh, um, okay. number one. I, I thought for some reason Genius was number three, but I, I could oh, be wrong. Anyways, I, I don't remember though. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm excited for the arc though. That's I'm I got really nothing else. To say. I'm finally glad that I can pay attention to Hero Academia again. Yeah. You're back with full, full cylinders again. I'm not just like you guys, skipping through the episode. You guys just hate Christmas, okay? I think the Christmas was better than you know the the exam and I don't everything. Hate the low parts of the exam. I hate ten episodes of school. So. Uh, the thing I didn't really <laughs> like was uh, the scene with with uh, Deku and his mom and just like the over the top oh, of the tears right. and the tears like flying oh. out of the oh, apartment. Like, like of course it's very shonen, but I was just like. It's just, I don't know. I thought it was stupid. I know, but yeah. I did enjoy Aerie's handwritten note and the you know misspelling of words and stuff. Aerie, I will always protect to the end of the days for how cute she is, <laughs> even though she screwed over her Lemillion. Jesus, uh, it, it was okay. Jesus, hey, Lemillion chose purpose. to do that. Oh, even yeah. though I, I still I miss Lemillion. Lemillion didn't choose the slideshow though. That was that was <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. That's the long bones <laughs> in them. Yeah. That's that's a fitting end for us. Just. You know, being in the arc, and then this will be the last time we'll talk about Hero Academia Weekly. Which honestly, <sighs> is a good, it's a good thing because we were like dragging on those first 
like 10 episodes. Yeah, we were definitely so. running through the motions with the so exams. Just, so that'd be a Pure Academia, and that's basically all the sh- weekly shows we have, so I usually talk about, so if anyone wants to talk about any other shows, feel free. I know, Stran, you had some you wanted to go through. Yeah. Uh, real quick, Justin Koo, did you want to mention uh, what happened with the Spider Show? Oh, what? Yeah, what did happen with Spider oh. Show? So, you know, pretty much how Koo and I both had noticed the uh, the quality of the show, both from a storytelling aspect and, you know, some of the, the fights and, and units being introduced were a little bit lesser in quality. And so, uh, as we learned, you know, earlier, late last week, uh, the I'm a Spider, So What production committee has decided to uh, take a break due to uh, production issues. So, kind of explains, uh, you know, they were... Uh, a little bit under crunch, as is usually seen with uh, the anime industry. Damn these uh, committees yes. in there, their timelines and yes. expectations. So uh-huh. we'll, uh, we're waiting for the next next episode. I think we were saying before, you know, we started the, the podcast here tonight that we, we don't know yet if it's just going to be coming back this coming Friday or if it's going to be a, a longer break. But um, I don't know, Koo, do you have anything else to add to that or... No, not really. I think you pretty much nailed yeah. it on the head, right? Uh, hopefully, it comes back next week, but yeah. uh, it's it's uh, to be determined. So. Right, and I think for for both of us, we just want the the story to actually go somewhere. And uh, as we saw last week, Potimus and his uh, his fleet of mechs was not really the direction we were uh, <laughs> expecting or really looking for. So. I mean, it blew my mind, but not in a good way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly, other... so, exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll we'll definitely you know have our our special cast to uh, to wrap up that show when it does finish. But uh, yeah, just a a weird weird delay that we're seeing more and more regularly, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's okay. pretty much everything for Spider Show. So uh, Stratton, hand it off to you for the, yes. the shout outs of uh, shows that finished from yes. this season. Uh, so the first one, uh, Next Gen Full Dive finished up this season. Um, Ku, I believe you finished it as well. What were your overall thoughts on the final episode? Because I have some thoughts. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it it was getting better. Um, it did not end the way I thought it would end. Terrible ending. It oh, was no. pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, like like through and through, it's, it's supposed to be a a comedy, right? So I guess they did have to end it in sort of a comedic way. Uh, I still think it's bullshit how he lost, but yeah. It was also kind of bullshit how he gained the powers to be able to fight Tesla. Yeah. Um, but at the but, same time, it fits the show perfectly for what it's been. Yeah. It definitely mm-hmm. stuck to its DNA, right? Like, you definitely know what to expect from the show, and it delivered that throughout the whole season. So, mm-hmm. you know, kudos to that. But they, they definitely could have done a lot better. Uh, I kind of want to see season two, just because, like I said, they did uh, make it a lot more interesting towards the second half of the show. So... Mm-hmm. Hopefully there's a season two, but I seriously doubt it. Uh, Dude. Yeah, I don't know. Like, just <laughs> Well, the way it ended, it could maybe be a second season. But for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, but like, how it happened, like, how he lost was, it was just a bunch of bullshit. And then also just, like, when you find out that when he did lose, that he, you know, he everything happened like they, they said it was. He lost his console. But they what the, the game is still, uh, where he could still save his data. He could still come back with his new console. Mm-hmm. That they, there is actually a way, Justin, where he can do some ridiculous uh, thing that can somehow course. bring it back. But the thing the is, trap we, card. but the thing is, we didn't get to see it. It basically they just had him talking about it was like a month where he was just training, kind of getting his life together. And I'm thinking, oh god, we're not going to see this. We're not going to see this. And then it just kind of kept going. Where and then eventually, like right at the end, it shows him he's just you know suiting up, you know, going right back in. And then it just ends. I'm thinking, you sons of bitches. <laughs> That's uh, dirty, man. Yeah, because it's yeah, because that that because that episode was uh, it was um because first like I mean I think we all kind of expected. I actually just assumed he was going to win, just be uh, but then just the whole BS mm-hmm. of a thing that happened where um, somehow she was able to trip him up, even though they're both moving at the speed of light at this point, like where they're both just like going it's uh he got the powers from basically just believing he's strong or something like that or he or he has like what what was was something like that wasn't it cool uh the will to not lose the will to keep going Uh, yeah Yeah. the will to not lose made him basically like the the same speed as uh as this main like strong Mm -hmm. yeah as the, the night dude 
and which um, where I mean, at this point, like the show's been what it's been. It's de- it's it has not <laughs> it has not veered off a different path. It's basically uh, it's lived and died with uh from like the way, how the the show started. Uh, yeah, Ulysses. That was the last episode of the season. It was a bunch of bullshit, <laughs> and um, I guess it'll probably we'll have to just go to the is it light novel or manga? Uh, I'd imagine it's a manga. I don't know, Dave. Uh, if you know, not not really sure. It is a light novel. Okay. Well, because oh god, because I mean I don't know about actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a light novel, but because uh, the um his other works, the Cautious Hero, that was a web novel, and that eventually turned a light novel. I assume this is also another light novel. He's a light novel writer. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure um, what to really think about this. It is a light novel. Um, I, I would, I would be kind of interested to see if that actually happened in the light novel, like, like how they, like how they just did, um, but like how the how it ended for us if it ended like the same point uh, part of the light novel or if they had that same part. Which I would believe at some point it probably would, just because it seemed like they had a very specific way of how he could get his data back, or uh-huh. at least like an extra life. And of course, instead of him having to buy like this crazy, like crazy, crazy expensive console, the you know the the girl at the the girl at the game shop like oh I'll just let you borrow one. It's like oh easy. So what happens if this one breaks? <laughs> and then you, are you just going to basically looking for that paycheck? Be fair, she owns a gaming store. I'm sure she'll have plenty of those in stock. Oh, does she uh, actually own it? I thought she was just like a. I thought she just worked there. Uh, I want to say she was the owner, if if I remember correctly. Okay, I I I would believe that too. Uh, uh yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. My my thoughts on this, it, it's just it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that. You uh, you shouldn't be going to this expecting too much. It it is pretty yeah. funny at times, but you know it's uh it's you, same kind you, of comedy. It's yeah. same comedy. It gets it gets uh it gets tiring. Don't don't expect anything extraordinary to happen. Yeah, but just I just felt like the show could have been so much more. It started off on such a strong note, where mm-hmm. it, just the ridiculousness of him killing his main friend, and then they have like those gl- like those like the glimpses of basically where his character in the game has his own story, mm-hmm. and they just kind of just showed us a little bit of that before just you know just not showing us any more of it. Where it, it just felt like this, they could have done so much more with this. And it could have made it very interesting, like very different from other like you know gaming sla- gaming isekais, which is too. To bad. be honest though, if this was a real thing, I would definitely give it a shot though. If this was an actual product, I'm not gonna lie, I would too. <laughs> right? <laughs> Even if it sounds like uh, pain is exactly the same, and it sounds like it could be kind of brutal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would still give it a shot. But other than that, um, I I think I gave the show a six. Uh yeah, I'd say about the same six, mm-hmm. even even five to be honest. But I'd say a six. Yeah, I I gave it. I mainly went for the six just because it was different. Uh, it, it had like those different elements that I just wish they could have done better. But mm. with with those ratings in mind, like, do you think it even has a shot at getting a second season? Then, like, it oh, sounds God. like they they no. teed it up in a BS way to get a second season. But yeah, well, it's well, it's, it's pretty like much from... over. I'd say well, the problem with that is like because they they ended it where. It, it kind of showed him like going back into the game, but like really at the see at the if they were to do a second season, the beginning of it would basically just be where the second or the first season ended, where they still have like this like this the main ending battle that they haven't done yet. So uh-huh. it just it would just feel really weird, but at the same time, it, it would again it would fit the show perfectly. Uh-huh. So I really don't know. But that that being said, even if a second season were to come out, I I would probably still watch it. Okay, but anyway. Uh, uh, that is it for me for the show. Uh, the next one, uh, uh, Zombieland Saga Revenge, ended this season. This would probably be my second favorite show of the season, actually. It's uh, I, I thought like this was by far better than the first season, and I didn't, I didn't actually didn't think the first season was that bad at all. The only thing I wish that they would have done better at this last, this last episode, um, was like half the episode was that it was basically just idol songs. It was just them in, in a concert singing and some thinking, well, this is kind of bad. This was too bad. Uh, and then the, the ending was really fucking weird. Where because the whole thing, there, like their whole goal is to, be, to save Saga. And I, I actually, at the same time, I don't, re- I never really knew like why they meant that. It's just like, how, like, how are you going to save Saga with just like an idol group? It never really made sense. Like, the, this guy just has never made sense. And then also, one of my favorite, like, one of my favorite clips of this show. That uh, I probably will be sending you guys in future anime. I've already sent you. <laughs> was with that that guy basically is just saying I'm a grown ass man crying. 
<laughs> and I'm going to be using that, I'm sure, for many shows in the future. Um, yeah, like that, that, that part of that, that was hilarious. But then, like, right at the end, like the last 30 seconds, they show an alien spaceship that shows up and just nukes the planet. Like, basically, just nukes the planet. Everything just goes out, like, basically, <laughs> like a gigantic, like, just echo wave. And then it just cuts the show. I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? So I don't know if it, if it was just the creators that were just like, you know what, fuck it, let's just have fun with this. Or if it's actually something maybe, that happened. Maybe well, it's, it's a comedy, saying, right? <laughs> in a sense. Maybe there's just way of saying, now there's no chance in hell that it's getting another season. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it sounds, it, it sounds was... very cheek and tongue where they could do it in that manner or they could do it in the sense of like, oh, it was your viewpoint of from like a TV show that they would lead into the next season. I mean, like, right. oh, you as a viewer it, thought it, the world blowed up, but it, it, it's it, them it, watching, you know, a, a TV it show. Is, it is Psy Games and MAPA, so. Yeah. To be fair, this, uh, this is Mappa, it could be, and then it looked nice, so it could be the, the, just them flexing. It's really, it's really from producers from Psy Games, so they yeah, yeah. really call mm-hmm. the shots, whereas like Mappa handled the production. So, yeah. Psy Games, Psy Games really was it was it both of them for both seasons? It was both. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So no no change of fans there or anything. Okay. Nope. Nope. Like I said, like which I, is good, actually, obviously. Yeah. Like the first season, I th- I didn't think any- like CGI was really that bad, but and then this second season, I think they even stepped it up even more, where where nice. it's just like the transitions that they would do like between like CGI to like the to anime, they like, also like like then blend them both. I thought it I, I thought it all just looked so good, and with that, and then also it was nice to learn more about some of the other characters. There's still like even like if I don't know if they ever were to make a third season, but there's even some there's well based on one what you say, specifically. Sir, it doesn't sound like it's got to be a third season. Well, that's if that if that, if that was actually canon. I don't know if it was because it was so out of like nowhere. Because <laughs> there was right. like because there was a couple other things that I wish they would have like uh, gave us a little bit more because they kind of went into basically like who kind of started the whole zombifying like you know big, like being able to zombify. Like how it came to be. So, David, if you ever go through it, I would like to know your kind of thoughts of the whole thing. Get to it eventually. Yeah. But, uh, but honestly, it was like, it was another like just shocker for me this season, just like how much I would have actually enjoyed this season and how well it was done. And uh, yeah, if, if, if a third season does come out, which I actually kind of hope they would, because there's still some characters that they could go into backstories that, that we never really got. So, there's still more for them to work with, unless the uh, alien ship is canon. And then, you know, GG, rip. But anyway, I, I think I gave the show an, uh, a solid eight. Hmm. I or unless yeah. maybe a nine. I can't remember. I might, I might bump it up to a nine because just reflecting on it, it actually was it was pretty good, <laughs> ridiculous, and it was just really fun to watch. And uh, then one last little thing is just kind of like update of like where Shaman King is at. Um, Shaman King, they just began like the like the sh- was it, I don't know is this the Shaman battle? I'm not quite sure what it's called. I forgot. It's like Shaman the beginning Wars. of the, the Shaman tournament. Yeah, the Shaman yep. Tournament. And we got to meet his brother. And his uh, oh. fire fire spirit dude. An and... evil twin brother who's possessed by the demonic spirit, apparently. Yes. So so Yo doesn't know that he has a brother. Or that he was... I'm, I'm sure... I'd, I'm sure he knows of it. But his family knows for sure. Yeah. So, yeah I can't remember family. what the like level of kind of knowledge that no- Yo has at this time. Obviously, there there's some semblance. I mean, he'd be an idiot not to just look at how and be like, hey, we look I- exactly the same. You <laughs> oh, know? What a coincidence. Um, yeah. So I-, I think he does know, but I think it was something where... Yeah, I just can't remember. It could be something where he just doesn't want to unveil that to the group at this point in time, but... Mm. Gotcha. The plot is, is, is definitely thickening and definitely is going to start to get into the meat of things. Yeah. of uh of this series um i'm definitely looking forward to more characters to be introduced in specific groups and stuff so uh-huh. i think it's really gonna ramp it up now in the the episodes to come how how far are they in this season compared to the og for the original season uh i want to say they're probably halfway there now yeah they're That's yeah they're about halfway i would say oh they're damn probably right on right on the head okay so they're they're cruising because what this was only episode 12 11 something like that uh and, 12 i believe 12 yeah and they have 50 episodes to work with well, so 13 figured, you know. it was 13 mm-hmm. well yeah but nonetheless with 50 episodes or however many they have here and they've already covered half of what was shown in the original that's crazy um, oh my god hearing like they're you know they're setting out to the mission that they they wanted to do they want to animate all of the the arcs in story as it was told so nice 
It'll just you think be interesting they're... to see how they, if they decide to cut anything else, because they did switch up some stuff from the original and everything. So, gotcha. We have uh, one more quick question for you, then, Justin and Coop. Yeah. Do you feel like they're moving too fast? No, I, I think it's no. fine. Yeah, I think All it's right. one of those things. If it wasn't moving that fast, then I think, like we said, you know, in previous discussions, it'd almost be kind of a shame for viewers who did read the source material and watch the original show mm-hmm. and just be like, okay, another week that I already know what's going to happen. You know, not, maybe not many new changes or anything. So I agree with Ku that the, the pacing is fitting well for, I think, both new viewers and old viewers as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, I still think it's been it's a, like a solid show for me as well. Nice. It's Good it's shonen. <laughs> so. uh, Definitely I will... shonen. Yep. Go I ahead, will Taylor. say that um, the next time that we collect, I'll have some thoughts about Fruits Basket, SSSS Dinazenon, The Power of the Saint is Omniscient, and Joran. It'll be quick thoughts, like really quick stuff, just like a quick rating and like three sentences, except for Fruits Basket, which deserves way more. <laughs> yeah, hmm. sounds like it's been getting. Yeah, that will be uh, that will be binged tomorrow. That is my only thing on my to do list for tomorrow is to sit and watch that entire sh- like last season, and I cannot wait. Yeah, it's nice. in it's in top five of all of um anime scores on anime list. It deserves it. Damn. <laughs> Just, yeah, you, know, just, you really care about your trash website. Hey, man. <laughs> For those top oh. ones. Gotta have a voice somewhere. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Something you get like the mindset of. But All right. Oh, no, I have no other, no other shout out. Shout out. No, good okay, on mine. So then again, we're taking a break next week for July 4th. And then coming back the week after with a summer preview. And then uh, we'll start uh, doing a new format where we just spend just one we we'll spend the whole episode on just one show and giving our full thoughts on that. So, look forward to that. Um, yeah, we'll have, we'll have some fun ones here and there too. Yeah, we can. It doesn't have to be just yeah, just shows. We can do, do like like random topics too as well. So, but like, we're just like not doing the weekly discussions anymore. Uh, we'll keep that in a Discord. So, uh, we join if you uh, join our Discord. We'll have different chat channels for all different shows airing that season. And you can just um, uh, probably want to like, uh, maybe maybe well. Have a robot spoilers, but I just assume like if you're in that chat, you should be caught up. So yeah, we'll figure it out though. But like, yeah, we'll we'll give our thoughts on shows airing that week in that that chat. So look forward to that. So that'll be it for this week. So we're in it here. Well, thank thank everyone for being here today. Thanks, chat, for joining us. Thanks, Sizzle. Thanks, Ulysses. Always fun. Fun to talk to you guys. Yeah. yeah. I want to thank the panel for joining me all the time. Thanks, guys. Really fun. Talking in weekly discussions no and looking forward to of the new course. format. Oh, real quick, thank you to everybody who's actually been listening to us like up to this point for uh, this format. Hopefully, it's yeah. not uh, too much of oh, a actually, too much of a loss. Actually, I should have mentioned too. Uh, we'll definitely do weeklies for uh, Tech and Titan uh, final season when that airs too. So oh yes, yes. That. So we'll definitely do it for that, and then we'll probably do it for Mushoku Tensei as well. I should have mentioned at the beginning. Probably too. we will. So, we'll, <laughs> there but, it is. so, 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 so for special occasions or when there's high demand, we'll de- we'll do weeklies. But in general, we're not gonna do weeklies for every show anymore. So. Only, only, the high, worth it. only the ones that are worth it. Yeah. So. Yes. So. So, so, yeah. <laughs> so that'll be it for us. Well, we'll see you uh, next time, probably in two weeks, with our summer preview. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.